So we're just going to jump straight in. These are the fabrics that I've used. I've got six cottons for the patchwork and the end fabric is fleece and that's going to be used on the back. So I started off by cutting out the squares of the cotton that I'm going to use to make the patchwork, which will be the front part of the blanket. The squares that I'm using are eight by seven inches and I decided to do two in each colour. Before I organised the order I wanted to put the squares in, I decided to give them all a quick iron first to get them all nice. I laid all my squares out on the floor uh, to organise with what sort of pattern I wanted to make the front um, and I, I realised that the two yellow gingham squares were slightly smaller than the other squares so I decided to switch them out because I didn't have any more of this fabric as well. I didn't want to use them because they were the wrong size and I didn't want to end up throwing all the size of the blanket off so I replaced them with some different fabric that had cupcakes on. Then I had a little shuffle around and then once I was happy with you know with how they looked I started pinning them together. To start I just pinned them together in rows in the rows of three so there was three by four squares in total but I wanted to sew them in rows first so that when I finish sewing them I can give them a press and then I then go back in and pin the rows together. So you just quickly get your iron and press the seams down and that gives the the fabric a nice finish then and it's all nice and smooth. Then once you finish with that you go back and lay all the strips in order. It helps if you've taken a photograph beforehand you can remember which order they go in. And then you're, yeah, then you just have to line all the seams up and pin the the rows together. And then you go back in with your sewing machine and stitch those up. And then obviously you go back to your eye and press the rest of the seams down. When you are pinning your bits together, just make sure that you're putting right sides together so that all the seam allowance is going to all be on one side. Because obviously you don't want to get mixed up and end up with rough bits on the front. For this next part, I laid down the fleece on the floor and I measured along the edges to find the centre of each edge. And then I placed an, a pin to mark the centre of each edges. I then did the same on the patchwork part. I measured along the edges and I marked the center of each edge with a pin. The fleece fabric is larger than the patchwork fabric because it's going to be a self-binding blanket so it's important that the back part of the fabric is bigger than the front part because when they're sewn together the, the bound part of the blanket will be part of the back. So the fleece fabric was 37 inch by 28 inch and the patchwork fabric was 29 inch by 20 inch. So the fleece fabric was eight inches wider than the patchwork fabric on both sides. Once you found the center of all the sides, you're going to lay your fabric out make sure you lay the patchwork on top of the fleece fabric and make sure that right sides are together then where you've pinned you're going to match up where they've pinned and pin along the edges to connect the two you'll be left with gaps like um, a leftover gap on all of the corners So 
So you're just matching up where the pins are on both bits of fabric and you're pinning out from where they are. Um, when you come to sew your edges, you need to leave a quarter of an inch um, at the very ends. So there's just a little bit of space for when you turn your blanket the right way around for the corners to sort of have like a little bit of movement. Once you've finished matching your fabric up, it should look like this with the corners gaping slightly um, with the excess fabric. Um, when you come to sew it up, you need to make sure you leave a gap in one of the sides as well so that you can turn it around easily. Remember when you're sewing your edges up that you're going to stop a quarter of an inch before you get to the corner and then go on to the next side and just leave the corners for now because we go back in and have a look at those afterwards. So this is what it should look like once you finish sewing your seams up. Um, making sure obviously you've left a gap in one of the sides. Um, we're just going to pull the corners together now and we're going to match up the two sides. When you've done that it should make this triangle shape and where the stitching finishes from where you finish before you got to the corner before that's where we're going to measure with a square ruler, we're going to measure it down, we're going to square it down from the edge and draw a line. And that is where we need to stitch um, because that line will make the corner of the baby blanket. So you just draw your line down from where the stitching ended and you do this for all four corners. So you need to match up all the edges and make the triangle square down from where your stitching finished and you're going to stitch along that line that you've drawn on all four corners then when you've done out that you just need to trim the excess fabric off and leave about a centimeter seam allowance Right, so once you've finished with your edges, once you've finished stitching your corners up, you just take the blanket and you turn it the right way around using the gap that you left in one of the sides. And you just poke the corners out just to make sure that you've sewn it all nice and neatly. Then for my blanket, I decided I wanted a little bit of extra padding I wanted it to be a little bit softer so I laid it flat on top of a piece of um, batting which is like um, it's like a filling like a duvet filling and I just I just cut it out to the shape of my finished baby blanket and then I inserted it inside I folded it in half to get it inside of the blanket um, and then I just had to give it a little shuffle about, get hold of the corners and just make sure it was all even inside and then I just pinned it into place. Once I was happy with it and I'd pinned it all down securely, um, I made sure that I pinned the opening that I'd left to turn the baby blanket the right way around. And when I took it to the sewing machine, I started with that part. That was the part that I started to top stitch down first to make sure that it was fastened securely. The top stitch I did on the fleece fabric on the blue binding part of the blanket and it was about two millimeters in so because of the fluffiness of the fleece you can't really see the stitching at all really so I was really happy with the finish. Thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video.